to Talking with Diana. On today's video, we will be talking about working remotely, positives, challenges, and strategies that will help you to maintain some form of balance during this process. Since the onset of this pandemic, many employers have instructed their employees to work at home as a safety precaution to help decrease the spread of COVID-19. Now this may be very unconventional for many persons, but there's no need for you to fail. That is why I am here to help you with this process. But of course, you know, we have to bring out the positives. And speaking with family members and friends, some persons are actually able to save on daycare, quiet as it's kept based on where you're living. Daycare is practically equivalent to a mortgage payment. Heck, even more in some cases. Also, you know, you, you, you actually have the ability to sleep in a little bit more longer and dress a little bit more comfortably due to the fact that you don't have to commute every morning. And in speaking with my girlfriend, Cece, she mentioned that she, has, she actually has been able to create new home projects such as what color should I paint this wall today? How should I, how should I rotate the furniture? and so forth but with that being said some persons you know transitioning from the office life and home life has been a bit difficult and some of the main challenges in speaking with my family and friends that were that I came across were setting boundaries from work life and home life and some persons actually were putting, were unconsciously added additional pressure on themselves due to the fact that they want to prove to their employer that they are being disciplined and efficient. But that being said, here are the strategies to help you with this new norm your new norm the first thing that you need to do if you haven't done so as yet is accept your new reality yes you may sometimes it, though it's difficult because this is new to you but being in denial is not going to help the situation complaining about it Mm, you could complain for a little bit, but if the complainerization, not sure if that's the word, but that's my word today, is lasting a bit too long, you need to stop because it's not going to benefit you at all. My next point is try your best to maintain uh, and create a dedicated office space. If you do not have an isolated office in your home and you have to create one, um, be sure that it's probably in a location or in a spot in your home that has less traffic or less movement and make it as comfortable and isolated as possible. Set a schedule and stick to it. Just as you wake up in the morning and you will get dressed and head to work, it is the same process with working from home. Set a time that you're going to wake up in the morning. Set a time that you're going to clock out from work. Set ground rules with the people in the household. Many of us do not live by ourselves. We may have our spouses. We may have um, our children. We may have other family members and unwanted guests. Just saying in the household with us at the moment. It is good to have a family meeting and lay all the ground rules so that everyone in the home would know your schedule to avoid interruptions. And some of the things that you can do, the person who's working from home, you can actually have like create a sign, do not interrupt sign, 
so that when you are in a conference call, when you are in a session, or you simply do not wish to be disturbed in that particular moment, because your thought process is activated at that particular time, put, make sure your sign is visible, whether hang it on the door, hang it on the wall, so that everyone who is in the household would know not to disturb you at this particular time. My next point, try your best to stay aligned with the culture of your establishment or the company. If you are accustomed to greeting colleagues or what have you, <clears throat> you could continue to doing that. If you know that you have this particular deadline or a set schedule to send in a report, Continue doing things just as you would normally do them as if you were actually in the office Also remember guys which brings me to my next point take breaks If at the office you would normally take a coffee break a lunch break Continue to do so in speaking with my family members and friends. I learned that they have been taking less breaks during this time that they are working at home do not cheat yourself. Do not rob yourself in any way, shape, or form. Take your breaks. Sometimes get up and stretch. Get up and take a little walk for about a minute or two. I'm not saying to abuse your time. I'm not saying not to be disciplined. But just as you would sometimes get up and stretch and go for a walk, like you would normally do in office, in if you were in the office, continue with that same habit. Also, with my next point, guys, is be positive. Try to keep a positive outlook on your current situation. It is extremely easy when we are going through a new situation for us to be frustrated. And in some cases, many persons are probably presently burnt out. If you are burnt out, it will definitely affect your health. But I hope that you implement some of these strategies, if not all, the, if not all of these strategies in your daily planning. That's all I got. Ain't got no more. Please stay tuned to part two of this video. If you have not liked and subscribed, please like to this video and subscribe to my channel. Please leave a comment. Let me know how you feel about today's video. And please share my video with other family members, friends, and colleagues. Thanks for listening. Until next time.